Welcome everyone. We're joined today by Ian Sawyer, nutritionist with Feedworks. Ian, just like to ask you about mycotoxins and their importance. Uh, why should farmers be concerned with them at this stage? Right. Uh, mycotoxins really are small, highly poisonous, highly toxic compounds that are produced by fungi, and we know fungi as mold. So when we have some mouldy forage, a bit like this gear, not like the lovely stuff that you're holding that smells nice and sweet, but this stuff's a bit more spoiled, we have a heightened risk of mycotoxins. And mycotoxins, with their poisonous and toxic nature, can create several bad outcomes on farm. Toxins tend to produce sort of three broad problems. They produce a loss of milk, depending on which toxin we've got. They produce a loss of health, depending on which toxin we've got and they produce a loss of reproductive performance depending yeah. on which toxin we've got. A lot of the stuff that folks get quite worried about is the repro scenario where we see that we lose calves, you know, we'll abort calves, that's a very obvious scenario. Um, but we also worry about feet, hooves, yeah. we worry about cell count, yeah. we worry about milk going away. Yeah. Um, all of those things are bad. Yeah. The loss of calves is a pretty overt version of it. Okay, so if farmers already have a pit that's got quite a bit of this kind of stuff you're holding in it, what are the options for those guys? Get something that isn't just a binder, but is a, a binder and a deactivator because you'll capture more toxins and more of those toxins. Yeah. No product will capture 100% of all of the toxins, yeah. but if you can get your capture rate up, then you have less impact on the herd at the end of the day. So Ian, for people who are buying in feeds, uh, um, what would your advice be to reduce mycotoxin risk in those circumstances? The test for mycotoxins is expensive and it takes a while, costs about 300 bucks. But it's an easy thing to do a mould count up front. It costs less than a box of beer these days, pretty good value if you're going to go out yeah. and buy something. And especially so if you're a bit concerned about you know, where this stuff's come from if you're yeah. buying it in. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much Ian for your time. Uh, so if you're not sure about this kind of stuff, um, please seek some advice from your nutritionist or agronomist and alternatively you can also get, find out more information on mycotoxins etc on the Dairy Australia website. Mm -hmm.